this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a chicken or duck brooder box with an old dresser. So I have this dresser here, and I'm going to start by getting a piece of wood, measuring it up against the way back of the dresser here. And then, I'm going to mark it, and then, I'm going to cut the wood. So, I'm going to do three. So one here, one here, and then one towards the end. So now, I'm putting these here. I cut these. Oh, and now, I'm going to screw them on um, to the dresser. So I have the boards here, and now, next off, I'm going to cut the drawer. So I'll mark a line across the bottom and cut it. So here we are. So... Um, let me show you what I've done here. So we have these boards screwed on underneath here. This middle one is fits perfectly into that center there, just as a normal drawer. I cut um, all like this big chunk off of the, the dresser drawer. And so now this is just this. I can take this out, and so the chicks will be in here, and I can, t when I take them out, I can just take this out, dump it, and put this back. With that extra chunk of the dresser, I cut these two sticks because I don't have wood, like this small. And it's cheaper in the long run. Now, also we're going to sand this down. And then you can also paint it if you want to do that. So for the bottom of the brooder box, I'm just using extra, um, the so this is the side of the dresser. And I'm using this wood um, for the bottom. And then I have this piece of wood I'm putting here. And this is going to be so the drawer can open and close. Put another one on the cut wood. Put one on this side. And then, let me show you. I, did, I know this is so crooked and so bad, but it's not like a big deal. I'm not like selling or anything. It's just for me, so it's fine. This is so crooked. But I decided I'm going to keep these pieces on the top brood. And so those other, oh my goodness, so those other pieces I cut in here that are, excuse me, um, that are already cut in half, I'm going to use those pieces for down here. So, um, the door's going to be up here, and there's going to be a bigger brood box down here. This is just a smaller one. Now for up here, I'm going to use these pieces. And What's going to happen is it's just going to be an open... I'm not sure. I I'm, I have to get hinges, so I'm not sure which way I'm doing it yet. After I get those, I'll figure it out. I'm not sure if I'm going to pull it down or pull it up. I'm thinking of pulling it up. That way, this can come out after I pull it up a lot easier. But I'll have to see how that works out. So, um, I'm going to cut this wood and then do the bottom. So, I have these wood screwed on here. So, now what I'm going to do is cut this off, this middle piece. So, I cut down the drawer, the bottom drawer down, and then I decided those things, um, woods I cut before seemed kind of thin. These were the ones I had before. They just seem kind of thin. So, um, from this drawer I cut some more thick ones. And so, this is going to go up here. And we have some on the bottom. 
Um, and then I have these. So, so this is just gonna go like this. And this door. Oh my gosh! Sorry, our dog's barking. Um, and then I have these wood pieces in the pit on the two corners. And then I have these pieces I cut here, and these are gonna go on the sides over here. And then I have some of these thick, thick, yet yeah, um, thinner width. That's gonna go here. Some hinges here, and um, that one on this side, one on the other side of this, and this is just gonna open up. And then I have a hook here. I got um a two piece or three piece. I got three just in case I need extra. And then this door is good. I'm not sure if I'm doing upward or downward yet, but I think upward. And then I have a little hinges for this one since this is gonna be probably lighter. So I'm gonna screw like all this together, um these pieces together, and get some little. You're gonna need some smaller screws for this, and then. So, I screwed this on together. So, this goes in here. Oh my gosh. It does fit, okay. Well, anyway. Then down here. This one. This two-door one. Oh my. I haven't put the hinges on yet, obviously. So there's... The open door. So now I'm going to paint it because uh, it's not paint there and paint peeled up there. So I'm not going to paint that. So I painted the dresser now and then I'm using this wire and going to put some of this on the doors. Um, I'm using this wire, not chicken wire. So that way if I have like day old chicks, they won't get their head stuck in there. But chicks that are a little bit older shouldn't, like a couple weeks old. But I don't want, I wouldn't take the chance it's also though. But with hatching, I hatch um, ducklings and stuff, so I wanted to use this wire. And then I'm going to use some red zip ties and zip tie this on. But I do recommend using a staple gun, but this works. So, so got this on. And I think it looks pretty good. So now I'm going to put some hinges on. So the brooder box is finished. Now I need to get it all ready to put chicks in. I'm hitting um, this bag in here so the bottom doesn't get all dirty. So this bag is paper. So that way um, when they are dirty, I could just take this drawer out dump this right into the compost. If you use a plastic bag, it, the compost won't absor absorb, but paper is actually good for the compost. So if you have paper bags, use that. If not, you'll have to take the bag out and trash it. Cause These screw right onto mason jars. So I don't even buy these plastic ones anymore. So I use the pellet bed and around the water and so when, if their water spills, um, this pellet bedding will soak it up and it will turn into bedding. And then this is their cozy spot over there. This is um, a heat brooder plate. And this is way better than heat lamps because it doesn't cause fires and um, it's warm. The chicks just go under it and you want the plate touching very close to the ground where the chicks can touch it and it will keep them warm and they'll cuddle up under that. So that is under a cozy spot. It also saves money on electricity.
for the top brooder here, I'll probably just like drill a hole here and put a heat lamp through there. Um, but I don't need it right now, so I'll just use the bobbin for now. So I only have, just have eight right now. So, here we are. I have, um, two white leghorns, two isa brown, and four easter eggers. Thank you for watching. I hope this video is helpful and let me know if it was. And if you made a chicken brooder box with a dresser for your ducks or chickens or geese or turkeys or whatever poultry you have.